that. that they probably will. I'm actually quite amazed that I've had enough time for this. Usually I if I'm going for plot I skip this entire cycle path mission because there's just not time. But yeah. What do you think about this improvement? By that I mean improvements in your own time management and how many survivors you can get and what ending you can get with that amount of survivors. Yeah. Follow me! There's Follow also room me! for improvement with the AI coding. Oh god, five survivors up this step. Over there! This is not going Go. to be fun. One. Two. Three. Let me through. Let. There we go. Alright, let's sort them out. Now I'll jump out. And, guys. Guys, kind of need to get. Yeah. Come on. Need to get through there. Come on. Move. I do not want to start hitting you people because you'll probably defect right next to the frickin' door. Move. God damn it. Fine. If you defect, it's your own fault. There. Okay, we got them back. Whew. Quite surprised by that. Quite proud of myself, too. And just in time for the cutscene. <laughs> Excellent. What is your name? Isabella. Isabella Keys. Well, Isabella, this is an emergency, so we'll skip the formalities and cut to the chase. Consider this an official interrogation. Tell me everything that you know. Samuel L. Jackson likes to play the bad cop. Fine. I'll explain why all of this is your fault. You, there personally. was no <laughs> drug trade in Santa Cabeza. Just an American research facility. They were doing research on some sort of parasitic insect. Like a wasp. A wasp that turns living things into zombies. If you don't believe me, just ask the man who was in charge of that research. The head of the Santa Cabeza Livestock Research Facility. Dr. Barnaby! Dun dun dun! Huh? He wants a piece of that. It started! He's turning! That's pretty forceful, dude. <laughs> and yes, I'm aware he wasn't trying to rape her, but that was a joke. Supposed to be tense and frightening, I... but it's funny. <laughs> I'm a zombie. I've had a lot of old people ask themselves that question. 
tell me the truth, Doc. Were you conducting experiments with zombies? <laughs> zombies? My grandson has zombies. Yes. We were conducting experiments to yeah, children cost a lot. The cost of breeding. We accidentally made zombie livestock. Oh, breeding livestock, okay. <laughs> you see, beforehand, you could have meant that they were trying to make cheaper condoms, or... Wow, there's a lot of sex jokes in this cutscene. So the government's now in the zombie-making business. Yeah, they have the not shot right next the to the was a cover up. What do you know? We were trying to mass produce cattle. Do you have any idea how much meat Americans consume in a single day? Uh, about three times their own body weight. <coughs> that research was absolutely necessary. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done anything. <laughs> yes, you have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that tops it off, Frank just getting a picture of it. <laughs> you morbid, you morbid little man, Frank. One day, in my village... Nope. The people turned into zombies. Yeah, we gathered that much. Those damn wasps. They escaped from the lab. It wasn't long before they got to work. Zombies spread. We got that part too. The army was called in. They killed everyone. Okay, we officially learnt nothing from that. Thank you. <laughs> What? <laughs> Badass Samuel L. Jackson can curve bullets around my head! That was pretty cool though. Kinda weird how they did that sequence as well, you know, through the camera lens. So, the terrorism is a retaliation for a cruel government cover-up. Sounds plausible. Or it could be some serious bullshit <laughs> in either case. We have to get out of here alive if we want to find out for sure. We have to check if she's been bitten. Let me take a look. I'm a medical technician. I could be useful if you let me do my job. A woman doctor? I know I have no right to ask. But please, let me help. If you don't get out of here, the truth dies with you. Well, yeah, that is true. <clears throat> Go on, man. Yeah. All right. <laughs> if allowing you to atone for you and your brother's scheme makes things go more smoothly for us, I'm all for it. 
Hooray, we're officially teaming up. Oh, that's the save point there. Um, I'm going to call it a day here for the moment. Um, and then next time we'll give Floyd his wine and carry on from there. Catch you later.